I'm back and while I was making my tea Game crashed, I had to redo all the boss fight And I died <laughs> So There's that and Closer still more. to completion I think it will be a lot easier to perform those shards <laughs> Not while trying I missed to them, my Jackson glass. queens, the members of my court. Mm. Each of them died long ago, of course, but they lived with me through my game. Now they are all lost, and I have merely these I paths like to reassemble. Mm, let's see. You have been with Cold Bjorn for a long time. Various. Oh, of course. Great. Yes. He removes he removes curses as well. One cooking card. Stick of pumpkin for food. Um, need this. I this. guess that card is one of your favorites. It's, it's I don't see the appeal. Especially with gold gun. Plus, what we will do eventually. It's for goblins. This is for. It's just for an ability. This is against the empire. Yep. My special mages. Why does it? What? Light special and empire are lighting up. I don't understand why. Light weapons aren't against Empire. From gold pain, gold pain ability. Can try. I think we don't have anything with anything left with shots. This, this, and number two. Wrath, wraith. How can we get that? What's that? Can someone a lost soul? Mm. No. No, 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 no. Mm. Mm. It's better than our fleet of pistol. How much is that twice? Twenty damage. Okay, give me spike mace for sure. Maybe some food. Uh, and um, actually, I want to see how we will do it with uh, more fame. Preparation will be key to your success. It is here that you separate yourself from your predecessor. I saw ogres in the deck. Okay. Badly shaped tool will not cut smoothly. It will turn and bite the wielder. That um, is why I have paid such attention to your forging. On the last day of Soldis, you pass through the gates of the great city. The scene before you is overwhelming. A melange of architectural styles, exotic smells and busy, busy people. 
You have taken counsel with your companions and wrestled with self-doubt. Your path is clear now, the Empire is a force for darkness in this world, bringing nothing but death and destruction. If you are truly a hero, this is the time to prove it. There can be no other end than this one. The Emperor must die. Estrella has organized a covert meeting with General Flynn Howe, an ally from her Empire days. You will tell us the way into the palace, she explains, but only if we prove that we can we have the backing for such a rebellion. Estrella disappears into the crowd, start stating she has some business to attend to. You see the meeting place in the distance, the Church of Fires, a shining marble monument soaring above the crowd and rubble of the city. But first you must explore the districts and gain enough support to your cause. An empire soldier stares at you from across the way. You disappear into the market crowd before he realizes who you are. Okay. I guess we'll go against. Ooh, felt in favor. Give me, give me the hump. I know it's a, it was bad, but we need this helmet. We need to be done with this helmet. I hope you have learned to be their nope. master. Are you serious? No. Death stalks these streets. Your death, my death, and the death of an emperor. While passing through the city's bustling fish markets, you hear a choking sound followed by a terrified scream. Pushing through the panicking crowd, you find a family of fishmongers Riding on the ground beside a toppled wagon, you watch in horror as push pustules of corruption spread across their bodies and down their limbs, leaving them grotesque and unrecognizable. Pause to inspect the bodies of the vanquished. The crowd watches in distress as you look the newest victims of the blight. Am I glad that I took the gamble through? Well the... done. You continue to impress. With the corrupted creatures dealt with, you stand to leave and hope that no one recognizes you. You. Yeah. 
You garner a few curious looks from the crowd. Thankfully, the bustle of the city swallows up again. Every performance is at heart a lie. Parked in the dust quarter is a traveling theater that has seen better days. The mortal stage curtains hang tiredly. A pasty, ill-looking man named Old Patton appears to be the head of this enterprise. He waves you over. Mm, I'll be right back in a second. Mm, ah, my fault you, you can curse. Okay, once again. Some fish mongers turned into corruption. Turned with corruption. That's one mark. is better against the Empire. Okay, so <laughs> I was hoping that this doesn't rise as my fame rises. Whoa. That's amazing. Let's go over to the circus crowd. Wild pa white powder has settled into the wrinkles of his face. His painted lips twist into a knowing grin. I know who you are, he whispers. Look you, I won't tell, he taps his red bulbous nose and wings. If you stand in for my recently and rather inconveniently deceased actor, he points out the rugged baker costume. What happened to him? My baker has been walled into his own home, hasn't he? He's gonna either starve or get eaten by the corrupted. The old man looks positively delighted at that prospect. Look here. Okay, be a bit, bit better. The play starts off with a hack knocking on the pantomime door. Oh, baker, I've come for your hand in marriage. Read the hack with a kiss. The crowd clasps and jeers as you plant a kiss on the actress or actor playing the hack. They play the part with spectacular realism. Oh, my love, dearest of hearts, I bought you a cake. The hag corks, removing a petrified cake from the folds of her apron. The cake is filled with mold. Take a bite. The cake tastes of cinnamon and is so stale that you are forced to drag your teeth along its far hard surface to scrape some crumbs off. The gold watches in morbid fascination. It wasn't worth it. Then, inexplicably, a cage boar is dragged on stage. The hack looks at you expectantly. Propose the boar. Reacting to your direction, the hack finds shock at this unfolding drama. From the audience, you hear a few stiff, stiff young Someone throws a bread roll at you. You see old pattern signaling you to wrap up the performance. Curtsy. You put on your most endearing expression and curtsy away to victory. Audience is captivated. You hope that old Peton is happy with your performance. Oh, sorry. I'm not a vain man. You must appreciate <laughs> that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can Ooh. count. I have a oh, certain well. pride regarding its twists and turns. The rotten cake turns in stomach. You double over and vomit onto your boots. Old Patton is impressed by your dedication to the role. His 
charcoal eyes well with tears. No, this, this is acting. Your escapades at the pageant wagon have increased your notoriety. So much military attention, and why? Because the Emperor knows you are coming. He has known long before. A group of soldiers stand in your path. A small child points at you, trying to get her mother's attention. Her mother thankfully ignores her. Stay inconspicuous and pass through. We hope they do not recognize you. Okay. Mm. You keep your head down and continue on your new way. Okay, once again the corruption. Okay, that was my fault. I can do a fight by myself. Can you reach the yeah. end of this challenge before you starve to death? Time will tell. Oh, this one takes away my weapon. I wasn't sure. Checkpoints, as if they keep one step ahead of the deaths that hunt them. At the gates leading into the Blood District, an Empire soldier speaks to a grumbling, slow-moving crowd. It appears there is some sort of hold-up. The soldier shouts a, a proclamation to the crowd. Attention! From this day forward unt and until further notice, there will be a checkpoint at all gates. With the speech over, you continue shuffling through the gates with the rest of the crowd. You hope that you're not recognizable enough to arouse suspicion. You move along with the crowd, the soldiers manning the gate and do not notice anything amiss. Mm -hmm. okay, we need some food. How about equipment? Do we have any Imperial armor? Oh, oh. hey, hello! No, I don't have anything for you. Unfortunately, I was told to be cursed. So if we have to redo, redo this challenge, we'll get more gold. Mm -hmm. More gold game cards and food game cards instead of cards from me. Let's go 
go over here first. Oh, hello. Do I want anything? Beef mascarpone. Ooh. I think we have more of those. I'll... Yes, I'll trade those. A group of soldiers are scrutinizing the crowd in the flower market. Choppers never seem to make their purchases. Hmm, let's try passing through. And here I was thinking both of them will blow. <laughs> it's her! You keep her, your head down, but the sound of drone steel tells you you've been discovered. You turn to face your opponents, but as bystanders back away, screaming. Those are pretty. Huh. It's in the scorpion's nature to sting. Wait, what? Okay, I'm gonna see this. Okay, cold don't get up because I keep getting hit from the same amount of Oh, I'm not trusted. Okay, it counts as well. So I can just keep hitting him all the Unless he stops. before reinforcements arrive. The onlookers are horrified by the casual display of violence. And what about- oh, you got to. What about, what about me? I'm terrified because I got through the guys. Thanks. Many secrets are buried here. And you seem determined to unearth them all. The stillness of the cemetery provides a welcome respite from the city. Only two people walk the grounds today, a withered grave digger named Thomas and an old woman in a flowered bonnet. The woman introduces herself as Hild and asks you to accompany her to her husband's grave. She pulls you close conspiratory, conspira conspiratorially and glares at Thomas. I think they added more stairs. The grave digger makes a baffled noise in disagreement. Okay, let's talk with him first. The old grave digger makes his rounds, clinking his shovel against the ground. What is going on? 
games within games within games. The water haunts the cemetery, you know? Or so I've heard. A demon with three eyes. The old graveyard girl begins to mumble on us around. So the devil has sought the great disaster he brought to the kingdom. The okay, do you want to join? I do not care for such things, mystery. Whether it be the emperor, you, or donkey on throne, the dead will always need burying. Okay, anything else on that? I just want to see whether he changes his mind. Victory. Oh, you are learning. I began to notice strange symbols hidden about the cemetery grounds. Curious, don't you think? Thomas leans on his shovel and points out a symbol of three dots etched onto the path and another on a nearby gravestone. Maybe he, we can get something else from him. You've got my attention. I once saw more enter a tomb and not return. I searched that tomb, but they were gone. Disappeared! Thomas leans in and whispers. There was a marking of the Fafridas on the entrance, though. He taps his forehead as if warding off some sort of evil. Hmm. He'll takes your arm and leads you through a large stone arch toward the tombs. Three eyes, she says, pointing at a strange symbol of Fridas etched upon the gate. That's lucky. Past graves and flowers you climb until you reach a huge primitive stone tomb full most you to ruin. It is devoid of any markings other than a free dots board over the entrance. Ah, here! He'll dust the walls here and there with her handkerchief as she descends in as she descends the ancient steps into the tomb. You can barely make out her white dress and her crinkled eyes, she beckons you to follow. I think I'll rather wait outside. <laughs> we can we only roll minimum of eight. After a time Hilda turns from the tomb. She politely thanks you for your patience. Heal the deceased! Mm. At her request you accompany Hilda to the cemetery gates. She bids you a cheerful goodbye and disappears into the sprawling cities. Oh we can we have to go through here again. Hi guys! I think this is the one. Oh no. Oh, so it deactivates once we get it. And chemistry. Places magic can hide as a more specific craft. The apothecary is inundated with a tense rubble of city inhabitants. As you get closer, you notice that the door has been barred shut. An elderly woman is on her knees weeping, clutching a pearl necklace to her chest. Open up! Have you no heart? A heavy set blacksmith pounds on the door. Oh, my daughter has succumbed to the rat! His voice cracks. The rest of the crowd shrinks away from the man, voice some cover co covering their mouths fearfully. Find another way. Hopping over a side gate and squeezing past crates, you find the back door to the apothecary. It's unlocked, but a thin and bird like woman stands by the door, scrutinizing you. Read her. Hello, she says with a curt nod. I am your helm, my twin is Janis. I have heard that you want to destroy the Empire and now I, that I see that you are strong of brow, of brow and crooked of nose, I believe in your quest. Thanks. She bids you goodbye as you enter the apothecary back door. Janice will want to help you too if you can find her. The owner of uh, Best Spectals. Find Legion who jumps at your surprise entrance. Ooh, well, we don't have 50 gold. And why it doesn't show me one? Oh, he bursts into noise. Dude. Okay, okay, here. He clinks a single bottle of amber liquid onto the counter. Why? It's all I have. The corruption, not to mention the empire. It's all fallen to shambles of late. It is here that you explain your quest. The best spectacle to particular notes. If you can fix this, yes, I will join you, cause. You squeeze out the front door to face the mob. They fall into silence to explain that there is but one bottle left. You accidentally step on the whipping woman's hand, but she seems not to notice and continues to wail for her family. The blacksmith stands back, too proud to beg, but his eyes betray how desperate he wants the bottle.
give it to the blacksmith. The huge blacksmith's face con contours into grimace as he presses your act, act of kindness. Your antics at the apothecary have increased your notoriety. Oh, of course. Yeah, but we are starving. <laughs> oh, Damage hello. Will persist unless you can find a meal right to relieve time. yourself. The Peace District. What irony. You join the line of grumbling citizens and merchants and hope that you are not spoke to be spotted. Mm. Oh, good. Okay, I think this is the one. Somehow, by some miracle, the soldiers do not notice you. In fact, one even stops to ask if you have seen the treasonous snake come to assassinate the emperor. Say that the culprit has an exceptionally long chin. The crooks of evil lies within the chin, the soldiers of science. Yes, I think I've heard of that before. Sure. Yeah. Okay, let's go here first. There. Oh, god damn it. I definitely don't have proper weapons for that. Okay, you take care of the. Okay, I'll take care of them. shot them. Okay, now we can sell it. <sighs> Thank you. A reward well earned. I know. Such was supposed uh, Ooh, if you have zero gold and, and zero food. Now I won't have zero anything. Is it still 15? Yeah, it's still 15. Ooh. Those two. And I want to sell... Swap to that. And sell the blades. I don't even want to think about that. Let's see, what do you can buy? Oh, that's fine. 
They hope walls can keep the sickness away, yet the sickness is in the land itself. We arrive at the walls of section of in the city. The makeshift barriers are told and free men. Somebody bangs on the wall from the other side, startling you. A desperate wailing pierces through. Make her, please, make her, please let us out. Passers by are pointedly ignoring the wails and screams. Only a lonely man kneels against the barrier ahead in his hands, weeping. The man notices your approach and trips over himself, bubbling. Golden hair, short, she always wears her yellow scarf. Molina, please, please get her out of there. Sure. With a running lip, you mantle the makeshift barrier. You land in a burrow much like the others, except it is deserted and there is a body at your feet. The body does not wear a yellow scarf. This poor soul is not Molina. There is a groaning noise coming from somewhere ahead of you. Okay, definitely not going to the groaning. You wander the streets of the Forsaken Borough, past bodies and bad doors. The stillness is disquieting. Okay. The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. A stone bounces painfully off your temple. You turn to face the source and find a glaring mud-eyed urchin peering at you from the rooftop. The child lifts another stone overhead and you duck down an alley to escape the second volley. The sound of groaning persists, grating your nerves. You hear the happy bustle of the city just over the barricade, but the mood is de decidedly more apocalyptic on this side of the wall. A crew picks at a body covered with festering corrupted bottles. You wander the streets of the Forsaken World past bodies and bardos. Okay, so I need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. By an abandoned cobbler's shop, you trip over a man you fear stood to be a bundle of rags and debris. He rises from the ragged pile, screeching madly. Get away! I curse you! I curse you! Won't take me! A mixture of fear and pity arises in you as you back away. You are not sure how he came to survive in this hellish place for so long. <sighs> Let's try that. Nope. Breathe. You have I done know. well. Through the dusty window of a tailor shop, you spy a tweedy little man with anxious eyes. You gesture comfortingly and the man scurries out to join you. The sound of going persists, getting to your nerves. Okay, maybe we can gain. I don't know why, it's easiest for me to do this on the third go. You find a woman huddled behind an arm. Turned vegetable card. She walks back and forth, clutching a dirty yellow scarf on her chest. Let's explore it once again. Damn it! Okay, I don't mind. If I'm only getting hit, I don't mind. That will set you in good stead from here. Most of the buildings in this desecrated neighborhood are nailed shut. So you are surprised to stumble upon an abandoned schoolhouse. It's still wide open. It is a small place. Chairs are knocked over, books thrown into the floor, as if its occupants exit exited hastily. In the gloom, you hear the tinkling laughter of a child. Instinctively, you unsheet your weapon, but the room is empty. Light filters in weekly from the broken windows. Look for the surprise first. Ooh. Ooh! I'm not going to try for the gold. You find a few coins in the teacher abandoned desk. Okay. You search the darkened corners of the schoolhouse and unearthed a, a hole in the wall, hidden behind a phone desk. The cables are coming from somewhere within. You lean into it. It's a goblin! Nicely timed. I know. You gasp, there's a body here. A teacher? A father? You cannot tell if he ultimately succumbed to infestation or to violence. 
His hands are clasped around the weapon. He doesn't look like a war hero. Was he defending the children? Love the body. As you turn to leave, you run straight into a thin, bread like woman standing in the way of the door. Hello, she nods cruelly. I'm Janice, my twin. Is your heart? I have heard that you want to destroy the Empire, and now that I see that you are crooked of bro and strong of nose, I believe in your quest. Janice wanders off into the borough. You ask her if she needs her help escaping, but she merely waves her hand and smiles. Okay, let's escape. Look for a second wall suitable for scaling. Sneak them over the wall. Juggernaut. Okay. <laughs> let's see this. Your investigation is started by a blood curdling scream. You turn in time to observe a crafted creature gnawing out a man's throat. Fight. You point out the wall in the distance and tell Lina and Fran to hurry. The corrupted are swarming this area. You must finish them off and get back to Lina and Fern before it's too- Oh, it's time! Oh, for fuck. Sick. I can't find Juggernaut when it's time. Wait, what's that? Okay, Affliction are those... Nothing, I hit it. Okay. I have to hit someone else. Exactly like this. Let's hit someone else. Jimmy guy. I would be amazing here. So many enemies. Takes us so long. Man. Really? <laughs> oh, maybe. Okay. Okay. We made it. <laughs> oh my god. You rush back to Lina and Ferran. They are in the middle of pulling themselves over the walls in a combination of footholds and pile debris. You push them over and fall before it's too late. You climb down the wall to the gasps from onlookers and hear an astonished cry of joy as Lina and her beloved are reunited. Ferran bids your nervous farewell and reaffirms his pledge to your cause before hurrying away into the city, glancing nervously around at the townsfolk. As you push past the whispering crowd and disappear back into the city, you know that your action here will, will place the Empire closer on your trail. Hmm. Ooh. I hate timed fights. They're so stressful. <laughs> Okay, so you take care of those guys, I'll take care of those guys. Or not! Oh, 
I tried to block that. Oh my god, we have 24 health. Thank you. I can heal a lot. Okay, this is still 15. This one. Yeah. Oh, they are back over there. So no matter what I do, I still have to you know, go through them, go through some soldiers twice. Although if I go down there, I only need to go through twice before, because if I go went through here, went down, well, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way I go. Oh, there's a captain, and we don't have the pillar, right? Yeah. Are we doing all this? Oh, not 15. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I would much rather have one. One success. Glowing. I tried, okay? Whoever we can, you know. No, oh, please stop trying to hit the captain. Oh, wait before reinforcements arrive, sure. Hi! Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, that's great. Damn it, this is. Well, actually, I don't think there's anything else we want to see. Dark eyes, no. Wait, so how can we, how can we get three more conspirators? its height above the city and upon what does it cast its light upon death destruction and pain and this it is night by the time you arrive at the church of fires Estrella's ally waits within the hushed marble cathedral through the flickering candlelight you walk past row upon row of wooden pews to the front of the temple beyond the altar you climb a moonlit staircase until you reach the vast doors leading to the west terrace you have opened the heavy doors. An Emperor General of ha Grey Hair and a kindly face greets you. Ah, you must be the traitor. Your face is plastered all over the city. Are you incredibly sly or incredibly reckless? General Flint Hall, Hall at your service. General Flint Hall reviews the blood pledges to your cause. You insult me, Flint Hall frowns. Both the people support you are nothing but a common assassin. 
Wait, how can I gain for more? Surely I have trained you better hmm. than this. Focus. I'll need to take this before you or Colbin can react. General Flint Howard draws his pistol, flanking me, and shoots you in the neck. It's alive, eh? Maybe you have cramped in your heart enough after all. The general stands over you as blood drips into your cupboard hand, but I can't tell you to leave here. I am sorry. Then, with a whistle, a troop of soldiers fills the church terrace. They are accompanied by an ogre. The ogre's arms are locked in heavy shackles, and the Empire's sigil is branded on its back. The soldiers release the chains, and the ogre shudders, its yellow eyes darting around wild wildly. Some unknown conditioning prevents him from trying to escape. Holden spits in disguise on the shiny church floor. You draw your weapon. Interesting. Don't, please, don't tell me that I need to hit gold on the pendulum check in the bar in, in, in the corrupted part of the city. Because that's not happening. <laughs> what iron will could... What iron will could break and enslave an ogre? I don't know. But he has helmet now! I forgot. I don't have shield, I have it. Open you. I'll kill your friends first. Troops. Nope. Then I'll kill you. Unless you kill me first. General Flint Hall lies dying in a pool of his own blood. You have bested me. He draws a choking breath and his eyes fall on the dead and slaves over. Listen. Listen. The land is sick. Maybe you are right. Maybe the Emperor must die for it to heal. You must be vigilant. They know you are here now. They know you are coming for him. As the last breath leaves his body, the general looks at you oppressingly, blood welling in one eye. You will die in there, you know. Thanks! Now death is inevitable. It will come for the Emperor, mm -hmm. and we will see what changes. Dead King Scales, no! No, please stop a minute. The These are, are dead. The sun unfolds. Five gates stand before us. Eight lie at our heels. Can There's you feel more. the power that lives in this place? It is close now. Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!